Good evening and welcome to St. Agnes Catholic Church. This evening we celebrate the Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. Our readings can be found in the back of the hymnal, number 1020. Our entrance hymn is number 414, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, number 414. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
God, who the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the people 
peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessing, that all the ends of the earth may revere him. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son, and if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you and with your spirit. a reading from the Holy Gospel according to st. Luke the shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger when they saw this they made known the message that had been told them about this child all who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds and Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, it's good to see you all here this evening, these last few hours of 2023, hard to believe. As I look out, I wonder how many of you are going to be up into the wee hours partying and having frivolities and things like that. Who knows? It's really quite a funny day, isn't it? because New Year's Eve is that time that we think of this great festivity. New York City has the big ball drop down and all of that. And some of us who are older may remember Guy Lombardo and his orchestra from the Waldorf Astoria, which I used to watch as a little kid. But be that as it may, it's an interesting thing because it originates back to the Romans. The Romans had a god named Janus who's depicted as like this sometimes two-faced God or two-headed God. And the idea was that every 
end of December 31st before January, named after the god Janus, one would have to have this revelry, this party, hoping that Janus would look this way with you on favor. And if he did not, if he didn't party enough, he would look at the other way with disfavor. Now that's all nice, but we all have our own little traditions too. My first assignment was with Monsignor Hendrick down at St. Mary's, and Monsignor Hendrick from the South said, now you always have to have ham and black-eyed peas on New Year's for good luck. So he forced me to eat black-eyed peas. Or I'd go home then, and we would have our traditional pork roast with sauerkraut, and my parents always said, you have to eat sauerkraut for good luck. Fortunately, I've grown to like sauerkraut. But be that as it all is, what's important is we look at this day really in a spiritual perspective. After all, chronologically, not much is really going to be different from today versus tomorrow. It's not as though there's a whole total different year. Rather, it's more like a continuum. So we have to look at it from the perspective of sacred time. So we take our minds back and we place ourselves once again in the Christmas manger scene. Here the shepherds have come to adore little Jesus. Mary, it says in the gospel, heard all these things and she treasured them in her heart. She reflected upon them. You could also say she pondered them. All good translations. Here our blessed mother, had this intimate relationship with Almighty God. We recall how she had been prepared by a special favor to be full of grace, free of all sin, even original sin, to be ready for that one day when the archangel would come and say, you've been chosen. Mary would conceive by the power of the Holy Spirit through her Jesus, second person of the Holy Trinity, true God entered this world, becoming also true man, and he was born that Christmas day. We rightfully then, as we celebrate today, we honor Mary as mother of God. Not that she created the divine person, Jesus, but it is through her that the divine person, Jesus, entered this world, becoming also true man. Fundamental mystery of our faith. Mary, though, always lived in union with God, and she wanted to make the love of the Lord known, whether it was through, for instance, presenting Jesus to the shepherds, later to the Magi, or it was interceding, like at the wedding feast of Cana, or it was quietly standing at the foot of the cross. Mary was always united with the love of God and wanted to make that love known to others. So my brothers and sisters, as we look at this day then, it would be good just to pause and reflect, to give thanks for all the blessings we received in the past year, and also to thank God for the perseverance, the fortitude we had to endure, perhaps some tragedies or sufferings or failures, whatever it may be, but we thank God. He was with us, so we ponder those things but then we do look ahead. Now I know that many people will have New Year's resolutions. Forbes magazine recently said that most people, the majority of people, give up their resolution within four months. All right, so you might pretend or plan on having a diet or exercise, whatever it may be. More importantly, spend time with the Lord, like our blessed mother. Have a good daily plan a spiritual life. So it's each day. Don't look at this whole year. Just look at each day. Each day is a gift from God. Think about your schedule and plan on it. Just sort of have a plan where you set aside time. Whether it's the little morning prayer, if it's as simple as, good morning, Jesus, thank you for this day, good enough. Have time for the grace before meals the time for a reflection before bed. Make time though, for like 30 minutes, make that appointment with God, 30 minutes, to spend time like reading sacred scripture, 
pondering the Word of God. Or maybe it's some saint that you'd want to read about, or maybe some other topic. But ponder the great mysteries so that you can treasure them in your heart. Beyond that daily routine, think of once a week, taking time to visit the Adoration Chapel and just be there with our Lord to present yourself and ask for whatever need you may have. Also, once a month confession. So these are simple things. Granted, life can become very say busy, overscheduled, and so on, but it's a day-to-day -day living life with the Lord as our Blessed Mother did. Look to her. I'd encourage you to say the rosary daily and ask for her help. She's our good mother, a mother who is one who wants to present Jesus to us and bring us closer to him. The good mother who intercedes for us, like at Cana, in ways we don't even know. The good mother who stands with us even quietly, just giving us comfort when we're suffering as she did for our Lord at the cross. So always look to our beautiful Blessed Mother. She wants us to grow in love with Christ. So here we have it, end of 2023, getting ready to launch into 2024. Not really much different chronologically, but spiritually it can be. If we make each day a day in the life of the Lord, a life with the Lord in our own lives. My mother gave me this little quote. I'm not sure where it is exactly from, but she found it probably from Mother Angelica on EWTN. But it's simply this. Yesterday is always a dream, and tomorrow is only a vision. But today, well lived, makes every yesterday a dream of happiness, and every tomorrow a vision of hope. Today, well lived. Live it with our Lord and our Blessed Mother. May God bless you. Let us stand now and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, you said that where two or more are gathered in your name, that you'd be in their midst and hear their prayers. With this confidence, we offer these petitions. For all of our church leaders, especially Pope Francis, Bishop Burbage, and our parish priests, that they will preach the gospel with courage and conviction, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civic officials, that remembering all authority comes from God, they will promote the common good of all, safeguard the sanctity of marriage and the family, and defend the rights to life and to religious freedom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For justice and peace among nations, especially between Russia and Ukraine, 
and for those who serve in our law enforcement, military, intelligence, and diplomatic services to make peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christians who face persecution and genocide, especially in communist and Islamic countries, that the Holy Spirit will keep them strong in the faith, and for all non-believers, that the Holy Spirit will move them to faith in our divine Savior, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For each of us, that following the example of the Blessed Mother, we will treasure our gift of faith and strive to grow in holiness each day of the new year, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who no longer attend Mass, have abandoned the faith, or left the church, that the Holy Spirit and the intercession of our Blessed Mother will inspire them to open their hearts and return to their spiritual home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the acceptance of vocations to the priesthood and religious life, that young men and women from our own families will heed Christ's call and offer their lives to him who gave his life for us. And for our parish seminarians, Deacon James Joseph, Gabriel Gaudet, Michael Gibbons, John Anthony Buono, and for Sister Monica Baptiste Whalen and Sister Abigail Therese Jones, novices for the Dominican Sisters in Nashville, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the sick and homebound in our parish and for our deceased, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the Saunders family for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our own personal intentions, which we offer in the quiet of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear all our prayers, even those prayers held within our hearts, and to grant them in accord with thy divine will, through Christ our Lord, amen. In calling upon the prayers of our Blessed Mother, we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 446, Gentle Mary, Later Child, number 446. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, good of all his holy church. 
O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Agnes and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and mother of the Church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. Amen. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity, with holy patience to the end. Amen. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace, grant your prayers in this and in every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the root of souls. Amen. Our recessional hymn is number 427, Good Christian Friends Rejoice, number 427.